Howdy folks. Blue Collar Piper. And uh, I sort of mentioned that I would uh, give a little shout out, a little video review to a certain D.B. Whitcoff from uh, P.S. Uh, PS Pipe Smokers Forum. So I'm doing that now. This is, is D.B. Whitcoff's creation. This is a full bent Missouri Meerschaum General. Okay. Hardwood bottom, just like you'd expect from a regular general. I actually have the general right here. And you can see it's pretty much the same deal. But this one's been modified. And uh, this was very rapidly turned into my absolute one of my absolute most favorite cobs. Okay? And I'm not even kidding. I like to clinch and I like to sit back and relax. And frankly, with the general, it takes a lot of claw work to clinch that bad boy. But this, now tell me, that ain't just a comfortable looking pipe. I got a pack full of some uh, Altidus's Edgeworth. Depending on the blend I'm smoking, depending on how dry it is or how, you know, how moist it is or if it's like a flake or something like that I can get a very very long smoke out of this pipe it, it'll, it's no problem getting an hour and a half out of this pipe with the right kind of tobacco with the uh, the Altidus's Edgeworth ready rub uh, copy or inspiration if you will that one is um, a little bit drier and it's burly so it usually burns for about 45 minutes to like 55 minutes or so. And it's possibly one of the most comfortable clinchers you can imagine. Um, I only only made, a, I know there was only about maybe 25 of these made or so. I got it on a really good deal. Um, of course, if I'm buying it, you know it's got to be a good deal because I am the blue collar piper and I don't make much money, so... This was a really great deal, guys. Um, just wanted to thank you, DB. Greatly appreciate the, the work and effort you put into this pipe. Um, those of you guys who got them, I know you guys got to be loving them too. And uh, if you still got you got one or two left, hit up pipe smoker for him. Hit him up for one. I, I don't know if he's got any left or not, but you know, it's only one way to find out, I guess. Uh, by the way, really totally, totally digging this off to this Edgeworth. I don't know how accurate it is to the old Edgeworth. As the likelihood of me ever getting any of the original is pretty slim to none. Uh, considering it's been on the, off the market for how long now? <laughs> but uh, this is really good. We've got a fair amount of cobs. I'd say, as far as cost effectiveness, overall quality, um, this is one of the best. This one, I'd say, it's toss up between this one and my uh, Bent Country Gentleman, Missouri Mersham, uh, with the Danish bit added, just because I like Danish bits. And you can get them cheap for like 50 cents from Rusty Cobb. So, uh, yeah. Uh, you guys get a chance. See what you think. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a good one.